We're visiting with another Dutchies winner. It's the female freshman athlete of the year, basketball player Kelsey Hurley. Uh, first of all, Kelsey, thanks for joining us. And I guess uh, tell us uh, what your reaction was, how you felt when you found out uh, you won this Dutchies award. Oh my gosh, I was so surprised. Honestly, I didn't even know that like I was up in nomination for it. And when the nominations came out, I was like so shocked. And then just hearing my name get called on the awards it was just crazy and it was nice because my family was right there with me so we could all celebrate together but oh my gosh it was just crazy <laughs> well and uh, I guess talking about your season here uh, coming in you know as a freshman to this program obviously you made a pretty immediate impact to the team uh, ended up leading the team in points uh, three pointers as well as minutes played I believe I saw I guess talk about you know how you were able to fit in so well and play so well uh, in your rookie year in the program? Well, I just mainly owe it all to Coach Steinkamp. You know, he really gave me the best opportunity um, to, you know, come in and make an immediate impact on the team. And the team themselves, uh, they're just great to be around. And so right away when I got to school, we just all immediately bonded. And I think that that really played a big role in it as well. Um, but I just came into every game, you know, just saying, I'm going to do my thing. And it worked out just fine. <laughs> well, and it was a pretty big turnaround uh, season for the program as a whole as well. Let's kind of talk about that a little bit here. Obviously, a pretty good start in uh, non-conference play. Uh, however, an 0-5 start to the conference season there. Uh, however, a trip to Dubuque, kind of a turning point in the season uh, where you were able to rattle off uh, three straight wins there, I guess. Uh, kind of talk about, you know, uh, what changed there? How, how were you guys able to, you know, uh, turn things around at that point after losing the first five games of conference play? Well, it is really tough because the conference is a very competitive conference. You know, you got like nationally ranked teams like Loris, Warp, Warburg, and Luther, who obviously put up quite a fight. And, um, you know, it was really tough starting off 0-5, but we came into Dubuque thinking, you know, we got this. There's nothing that we can lose here. So I think we just all came together and – we just played our butts off and it worked out just fine. <laughs> well, and uh, looking through your uh, personal game logs here, uh, I noticed the lowest game at home was uh, kind of a tough one for you and the entire team, kind of a tough loss there. Uh, obviously, like you mentioned, they were a nationally ranked team, so certainly not a bad loss. Still kind of a tough one, though. Uh, you were scoreless in that game. How did you guys uh, use that as motivation moving forward as the season was about to hit the home stretch? Well, it was really tough for me going out after that game, like not being, not scoring any points. Uh, but, you know, Coach Steinkamp did a really good job of just like keeping our heads up and just saying, you know, we can't focus on this game. We just have to look forward to the next game. And that just really got us motivated to just keep pushing and work even harder to be successful throughout the season. Well, and then late in the year, uh, you guys uh, ended up playing pretty well individually. You scored a uh... 20 or more points there in those final three games uh, before he ended up losing a heartbreaker in the conference tournament to Luther. I guess, uh, you know, talk about how you guys uh, were able to play so well down the stretch there, what those last few games were like for uh, you individually and, uh, and the rest of the team as well. Well, for me individually, I just came in, you know, thinking what is there to lose? And I think that that's what the team also had in mind. You know, we just, we made history and that's something – obviously our season and our record that we had was something that hasn't been seen um, in the program for a long time. So we just came in, you know, with our heads high again, and we just thought, you know, we've made it this far. Why not just keep going? And um, me individually, I just wanted to play my game and I knew that the team would step up as well. So it was just really great to, you know, make it that far into the tournament. It stinks that we lost with such a tight game, but it was still really fun to be there. Well, and uh, a lot of big moments, certainly for the team this year, uh, as well as for you individually. Obviously, the home win over Luther was a monumental win for the program. The comeback win over Nebraska Wesleyan on the road, which ended up clinching the conference tournament spot. I guess uh, those are some of the games that uh, immediately come to mind for me. I know in that Nebraska Wesleyan game, you dropped 23 points, 12 rebounds in that one. So certainly that was a big game for you. But I guess, you know, what are some of the top moments uh, of the season overall that come to mind for you, not only individually, but, you know, as a team? Well, you already said it. That Luther game at home, 
was the best game I have ever played in in my life. That was just so fun, I think, for the whole team and for Coach Steinkamp as well. You know, we just came out and we worked so hard for that moment. And we knew, go like, right before the game started that we could do it. Obviously, the first time we played Luther, it was not very fun. We lost by, like, 30. Um, but we definitely, like, knew it was possible to be able to – you know, put up with some of these nationally ranked teams in the conference. And that game just proved it all. And the fact that we won that game, I will never forget the feeling after the buzzer went off, just how happy we all were and running onto the court. That was the best moment ever. Well, and uh, of course, uh, for Central Women's Basketball uh, as a whole, you know, this whole century pretty much, uh, uh, it's been a lot of frustration for this program. Uh, what does it mean, you know, for you to be part of such a major turnaround uh, for a program that, you know, has faced a whole bunch of frustration over the years, especially you being a freshman, just being the start of this turnaround? Well, I think that the turnaround has been building up for the last couple of seasons. I think Coach Steinkamp has a big part to play in that. You know, he really started recruiting some very talented players, and I think that we've all bonded very well together. But to be just in my freshman season and to have such a great start to my career um, is just really awesome. And it's an honor for me to be a part of that, even like contributing the smallest bit. Um, it's just great to see the team finally have those bright shining moments again. Well, and uh, obviously you've got a lot of time left in the program. Uh, the team returns nearly everyone next season. What are some of the things you're looking forward to next year and in future years uh, and some things that you hope you'll be able to accomplish here? I'm really looking forward to seeing the new freshman class come in. I think that we've re recruited and brought in some good people so far. Um, unfortunately, we were losing Kendall Brown, and she was such a big part to the team. But I still think that we'll be able to really make a big impact within the conference. I think that we can even be ranked higher up in the conference, like moving up from sixth seed. I think we can get up into like top four, top three eventually hopefully by the end of my career well and uh, obviously uh, this past spring has just been crazy for everyone I guess that being said what does kind of the rest of the semester look like for you uh, I guess uh, uh, learning from home if you will I guess uh, what does kind of the rest of the semester rest of the summer uh, look like for you individually with uh, uh, trying to move forward through you know the rest of this whole COVID-19 pandemic here it's definitely tough and very different. Um, I do really still wish that I was in Pella, but um, I'm just trying to push through these last couple of weeks of school, just stay on, you know, the grind of studying and everything, finishing out finals. Um, unfortunately, nothing's really open here. I know that that's the same around the country. So hopefully soon gyms will be open again and I can go to my fitness center that I've been going to a lot. Uh, but I'm just going to keep working out and doing the best that I can to, you know, stay in shape for this next season. Well, again, we've been joined with uh, joined by Kelsey Hurley, the uh, freshman female athlete of the year uh, from this past week's Dutchies Awards. Uh, Kelsey, I uh, certainly appreciate your time. Uh, congratulations once again, and uh, look forward to catching back up with you uh, once you and the rest of the uh, student athletes return to Pella. Thank you so much for taking the time.